Philadelphia. Adumo. 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 Beloved, we thank God Almighty for how far his borders. Today is the 18th day of April 2021. And as we know, Stephen Adunchiri, the prophet of God, took time to teach us about these hidden miseries that has eluded the whole Christian dom or Christian fraternity. And we Philadelphians, we are fortunate enough to know about these miseries or this truth. This words when emanates from the mouth of the servant of God, Stephen Adun Chidu, I guess all jaws dropping down. We were all perplexed, amazed, and then astounded by the divine truth that came from him. Now, you are watching Learn from the Prophet, and Learn from the Prophet every Sunday after Stephen Adun Chidu, the Prophet of God, has come to us with the undiluted word of God. We also come to relay it to you in order to bridge language barrier and also to digest it to the barest minimum so that you can be able to assimilate and apply it in all sphere of your life. You are watching us on Second Chance TV and we are also streaming live on YouTube. YouTube, it is Steven Adum Chedia or Believers Worship Center. Stay with us. We are going for a short break. When we come, the program continues. My name is Maradona Amwako and I'm the host for the program. Please be with us. Precious one, you are welcome back from the break. And as I said earlier, you are watching Learn from the Prophet, where it's streaming live on YouTube. And YouTube is Stephen Adum Chedria. And on Facebook is Believers Worship Center. And you are, you, you are also watching us on Second Chance TV, which is inside Kenya C. Ejumemti Chankwantar. That is the headquarters of Believers Worship Center. Today promises to be another segment that will get you so shocked to your bone and marrow. So please make time and then stay with us. Now you have the opportunity to follow this program and then call in to express what you've learned. Something that you've studied today from Stephen Adun Chedra, the prophet of God. And then also inspire others. You can also come through with some questions that bothers your mind. Hint on today's teachings. Please let's limit our discussion to today's teachings. The Lord bless you. So the numbers, that is for the full in numbers is 0201-169511. 0201-169511. And 266 494 385 And WhatsApp, the number is 0241 775 So write it down when the time is due. You can also be a partaker of today's program. And the Lord shall richly bless you. Now, let's move into our studio and then uh, let's introduce our guest or panel that we have for today. So I'm going to start from my immediate left. Today there's going to be a new shift. Yes. And on my immediate left is Mr. Michael Afuakwa, who is a disciple, a sound engineer, and then a whole lot can be said about him. Brother, you're looking good. <laughs> Thank you. And you're Mr. welcome Wako. to learn from the prophet. Thank you. <laughs> I trust uh, your weekend was excellent. By the grace of God. We thank God. We thank God. And then uh, we have the woman among us, uh, our number nine. Yes, uh, Mrs. Dorothy Boabin Nyama, who is also a lecturer at Amsterdam, the formerly University of Education Kumase campus. Mommy, you're looking good. Thank you. And you're welcome much. to learn for the prophet. Thank you. Okay. Uh, and that on my opposite or far end is Mr. Daniel Kofi Osai, who is also the Essence officer of Kumase High School. And uh, he's been uh, uh, head of department for quite a whole lot, a uh, period of time. You're welcome, Father. Thank you, Mr. Mwaku. Uh, I trust you're also doing your work. Yes, by the doing of God. Okay, we thank God. Okay, so before we start today's program, uh, let's take a word of prayer. And then I will treat that, Mr. Daniel Kofi, so if you can help us with this prayer and then we unveil what we have for our viewers today. Please let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this evening. We glorify your name. This is another time, O oh Lord, to listen to your word. Yes. We are praying for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Amen. So that the hidden mystery that has eluded us mm -hmm. for several years mm -hmm. will now be opened unto us. We pray that this year, let us see your blessings manifest in our lives. 
We know you've heard our prayer because we've prayed in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Yeah, we thank God for how far his brother has ended. We know day in, day out, his mercies are new every morning. And then the images continue to be unfolded by Stephen uh, Adunchiria, the prophet of God. Okay. Now, today, Stephen Adunchiria made us to understand that what uh, he was teaching was a continuation of last week's event uh, or, or, or sermon. But before then, let's look at the Philadelphia movement. And then the miracles, the testimonies that is uh, just surfacing from left, right, center, north, east. Now, so people kind of asked, uh, is this real? And, and, and can what is happening in the movement be found in scriptures or in the Bible? Brother Michael Afoko, what do you say about this? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Marco. Hmm. You know, the word of God mm -hmm. shall forever remain. Amen. But everything will pass away. Yes. What is happening now currently mm -hmm. in the Philadelphia movement yes. is just a replica of or um, a picture of mm -hmm. what happened days back or years back, generations back in the Bible, mm -hmm. in the days of the apostles. The days of the apostles. Yeah. Wow. In, after the death of Christ. Yes. And then when Jesus ascended to heaven. Okay. When he, um, he, he promised the disciples that he's going to send forth the Holy Ghost okay. unto them. Mm -hmm. After that, when they received the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. uh, or the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. The movement was very hot. Wow. To the extent that they were enjoying mm -hmm. true miracles, signs, and wonders. And wonders. And these were performances by the Holy Ghost. By the Holy Ghost. And this is the same thing that we Philadelphians are also experiencing now. Mm -hmm. For instance, let's see, we, we have people who have gone to the extent with their predicament whereby they have this devastating wound, mm -hmm. dangerous wound. Ulcers. Ulcers which can yeah. never be healed. Mm -hmm. But here in our domain, when you come, it, within the tip of the iceberg, you are healed. Are you serious? Yes. Let's look at the forms of cancer that are being healed in this house. Oh my goodness. So meaning that uh, the, 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 the Believers Worship Center or the Philadelphia Movement can be likened to the group of believers in the book of Acts. Yes, please. During the days of the apostles. Okay. Now, talking about the apostles and then what happened after Christ had left. You see, Stephen Adun Chedua has also instituted something that is likened unto that. Because when you go to, I think, Acts chapter 4, verse 32 downwards, it talks about they having everything in common and none of them lacked anything. Mm -hmm. Now, what is happening? If we can also elaborate on what Stephen Adun Chedua is doing, and we can also pinpoint how Ananias and the wife came to suffer at the end of that movement that was going on. Mr. Daniel Kofiosa, if you can also help us with that. Yes. Um, like we've already established mm -hmm. that it is true that when we look at the Philadelphia movement, mm -hmm. it is a clear replica of what happened in the book of Acts. Okay. And then Stephen Adum Chidua, the prophet of God, is also retreating that anyone who has doubt should go and read the full book of Acts. Acts yes. You really understand it. Mm -hmm. Again, he also mentioned a confirmation of the Philadelphia movement, mm -hmm. which uh, was prophesied by someone down well, as far back as uh, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Yeah, that prophet. Who yeah. even doesn't know of the existence of anything like this yeah. movement. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Coming back straight to the question. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, we could trace that like you said, mm -hmm. all the people at that time, during the era of Acts, mm -hmm. were not lacking. Okay. Yes, but how would that be possible? Yes, how did they do Because it? people have different sort of wealth and also degrees of wealth. Mm -hmm. So how come that everybody was okay and lacking nothing? They shared what they had. Mm -hmm. In their case, some sold their land, mm -hmm buildings, all property that we can think of okay. and brought the money to the table and it was shared amongst them, mm -hmm. each according to their needs. To their needs. Yes. Wow. Now, when we look at our churches, mm -hmm. 
we can note that from day one that we entered, okay. if we are poor, we've continued to be poor. <laughs> Those of us who are rich continue to, to be, be rich. rich uh -huh. But how come mm -hmm. that during the era of the apostles, mm -hmm. they were able to share and then things were right for them? Okay. So Stephen Adum Chidua, the prophet of God, mm -hmm. has also replicated this mm -hmm. in a form of a movement. Okay. And we are to sign on to two groups. Okay. The Philadelphia, uh, that is the Adum group and okay. then the Second Chance group. Okay. Right. The purpose is that whatever we contribute mm -hmm. at a period of time when it has accrued to such huge sums of money mm -hmm. will be distributed to help the needy. Okay. Right. Now, in our case, we are not selling anything. Okay. No property of ours to okay. bring it to the church. Okay. He has even uh, continued to encourage us that we should look at to blessings, meaning that we'll be having increase. Mm -hmm. So there is no need to sell anything. Okay. The little that we've already been contributing okay. back in our churches as mm -hmm. tithes, harvests, and offerings, mm -hmm. he still wants us to continue with that act. Okay. But the other side of it is that this time, we are going to give out of our own volition. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, that money comes back to us. Okay. It is not going for the development of the church okay. or into the pastors or the prophet's pocket. Okay. It is coming back to everybody mm -hmm. to support us. Mm -hmm. Now, when we look at what made the Acts business successful, they were all doing so willingly and also doing so, I would say, honestly. Now, this is a situation where the Philadelphia movement <coughs> has instituted a sort of, um, I'll say more of something that is going to help us. Mm -hmm. However, okay. for what we know, because this time, yes. tithes are not recorded. Mm -hmm. Special contributions are not recorded. Okay. So, people have started showing signs mm -hmm. of what Ananias and Sapphira did in their era. Okay. They sold their own property. Okay. The whole money was for them. For them, yes. They yes. could have decided to keep it for their own use. Okay. But because they belong to the group, mm -hmm. they decided that they will pocket some and then give the rest. Okay. Just thinking that they were going to do 419 as we have been doing in our churches. Okay. We always want to trade God. Mm -hmm. But they were unfortunate. At that time, the Holy Spirit knocked them off okay. and they died. And they died. Yeah. Stephen Adum Chedua, the prophet of God, is telling us that in our era, there is not going to be anything like uh, a knockdown whereby you're going to have death. But certainly, mm -hmm. you will never have things right. You'll be impoverished. Okay. And you will see that you are within the midst of plenty. Okay. But you will never harvest any. Okay. And you'll be wallowing in poverty. Mm -hmm. He makes us understand that Abraham, Isaac, mm -hmm. and Jacob mm -hmm. all never forgot their sort of Sacrifice and sacrifices and also commitment to God. Like, okay. So they were always full of success, full of blessings. Mm -hmm. They were always progressing. Okay. And he's saying that if we want to benefit from the project, then we should make sure that we are fair to ourselves. Okay. We should not see the situation where we have to look at the pastor calling for Kofi and Amma, and then we want to donate for everybody to see that our group okay. is more prominent. Okay. No, just do everything that you can from your heart. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Mrs. Nyama, you see, that there are some instances where some people think that they have the money. For instance, uh, you spoke about two groups that we now have in the Philadelphia movement. The second chance and then the Adumo. So then this person comes and then calculates. Uh, so that how many uh, how months do we have in a year? We have 12 and I'm supposed to pay 10 cities per month. So he comes in to give in bulk or pay in advance for this number of years without committing himself to church and the programs of others. Now he also refuses to even attend church and then pay offering and other harvest or other commitments to God in order to build up the funds that is meant for the whole Philadelphian uh, community. But 
the person will turn around with his book and then come to cause mayhem in the house. That's no, I also need some money. Now, looking at the level of the ministry of Stephen Adun Chiria, because he made us to understand that he is now at the stage where there is going to be or there is an angelic ministration. What could be the fate of such a person who will try to be smart to come and join the movement all in the name of Susu or Cooperative Union to come and make money in this house? Thank you very much, Mr. Marco. According to Stephen Adum Chidria, mm -hmm. he has made himself a lamp for sacrifice. Okay. He has already sacrificed so much for us. Mm -hmm. And even with this, just like uh, Mr. Osai mentioned mm -hmm. in the books of Acts, the yes. apostles needed nothing because they shared whatever they have among themselves. among themselves. So why are you trying to be so wise and smart? You know, mm -hmm. you go to other churches. We all came from some other churches. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this sort of thing never happened there. You pay your tithes every month. You give your offering, harvest and all that. Confia and that man. is, uh, yeah, it yeah. ends there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they don't even render any proper account to the church members. Mm. But here is a case. Stephen Adum Chedua, the prophet of God, has dedicated his service. Mm -hmm. Apart from sacrificing himself. That's the uh, offering we are giving, yes. in addition to the welfare dues we are paying, is coming back to us mm -hmm. to support us financially. The needy. the needy. Okay. Just like it happened in the Bible, so that no one will need nothing. So that we can serve God well. Sometimes poverty does not allow people to serve God truthfully. Yes. And he wants your soul for Christ. Yes. So whatever he wants to do to help you maintain that standard you have acquired, not to go back or turn back. That is what he's trying to do. But why do you want to uh, behave as if you are smarter and you are wiser than everybody? Mm -hmm. And that is what he cautioned. That nobody should try to bring that uh, smartness in here. If you're actually a Philadelphian and you are really a born again Philadelphian, you don't have to do this. No. You have to even uh, uh, open up yourself as a sacrifice also for others. So don't try to be uh, wise, okay? Come to church, mm -hmm. pay your uh, dues. Okay. Even the way he has made it, made it so liberal. Okay. Nobody is watching what you are putting in, yes. in their box. Mm -hmm. Nobody is recording anything yes. as it's happening as well. Uh -huh. He wants us to serve God from the bottom of our hearts. Willingly. We should fear God and no other man. Uh, no. Okay. So that whatever we are doing, we do it to glorify God. Wow. And we should do it as if God is... I is watching directly. Yes. As yes. we normally think God is far away from uh -huh. us. God is close. So whatever we are doing, we should do it as if God is our supervisor. Yes. He wouldn't want any man to supervise your mm -hmm. giving. Mm -hmm. So that it will be between you and your God. Yes. And the God who sees in secret, in secret. will reward you as such. Publicly. But you are course. trying to be so smart. Me, I want to pay my how much is the a year. Mm -hmm. If I'm paying 20 cities monthly, how mm -hmm. much am I going to pay for a year? Mm -hmm. If it's a special, for special contribution, it's not even regular. Yes. As and when the need arises. As and when the need arises. But these people will want to even pay that one in <laughs> advance. Advance payment. So it's like they want to be like Kokwa <laughs> Nancy people. Yes. Want to be so wise and smart. smart. In any situation, they want to be smart. Uh -huh. You see, so I will pay maybe six months. Yes. Advance payment. Uh -huh. Is, are you going to rent a house? <laughs> <laughs> or prompt payments you want to pay. <laughs> or one year because you are, you are rich, capable of yes, paying. You rich and you so you pay it. and then you forget about other things. Other things. Your soul is more important. He yes. wants you to be there at the gathering so and that we all share the, the food. Yes. That yes. is the word of God. Okay. Then you come there and also offer. Mm -hmm. And you know something? Yes. You know, I, I was uh, telling somebody about... A friend of mine about uh, this Philadelphia movement in those things. And they said, we all used to be moving here and there together. So he said, hey, madam, you have done well. Oh. As mm -hmm. for you, you have taken a bold step. A bold it's left decision. to me. And I said, up to you. <laughs> I've been telling you. So you better. Mm -hmm. Other than that, always you'll be going about it. They say, they say, they hear, they hear. <laughs> and you'll never be free. Now I'm free. <laughs> I sleep quietly, peacefully. I don't mm -hmm. have anything to bother about. Then he said, but, and I told her that even... Here, it's not a matter of bring five million for yeah, this. Yeah. Uh, we want uh, people who have faith to mm -hmm. come and sow see so your see, thousand yes, yes. and that. You don't hear that. You give freely from your uh, your heart. Mm -hmm. Then he she asked me, Madam, the, 
if you are not giving out harvest, there's no media harvest, I don't have it. How do you also get your blessings? This is where it is coming from. Uh -huh. Oh, so, so Stephen Adoy Chiria said they've been brainwashed. People have Very been good. Brainwashed that when and I they said, do that, my sister, yes. all that we were doing, you we were compelled to do it. Yes, you were compelled. All Thank those who are sometimes you even give and then you'll be owing. Yes. Did you prepare yourself to go and give that amount? You even pledge. When you went, you went, it's out of compulsion that you pledge. <laughs> they compel you. Yes. So even if you don't have, you'll be compelled to go and pledge. And that pledge is what God doesn't like. You mm -hmm. pledge and you, if you are not careful, you will never be able to fulfill it. Mm -hmm. So it will be a debt. Arias carry forward. Eesh. But here, what we do is a free will offering. My sister, give freely as if God is in there watching you directly. Okay. Provided you have what you have, give it out. Don't give and even expect that you also enjoy parts, okay. but give it to support others who are in need. Okay. And that is where you get your blessings. Okay. So if you are there and you think you can pay advance, mm -hmm. make advance payment because you have an abundance and you wait until when something happens, you say, hey, I, I was paying you. Okay. So now I'm coming for my share mm -hmm. of the cake. That is not what we are practicing okay. here. Thank you very much. That is not what you are practicing here. Would you? Uh, sound, okay, okay. So let me this listen. This is the same man who actually have. said. Um, you know, Stephen Adum Chidia, the prophet of God, mm -hmm. has brought us to a destination mm -hmm. whereby we are very closer to the doorstep of heavens. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then when the name of God is mentioned, it means angels, the service of angels. Mm -hmm must come in place wow. and then they come to circumspect to scan and then check through okay so um we are now dealing with god direct with divinity with divinity yeah and then the extent whereby we've got into mm -hmm. where the harvest yeah. most people think oh with this one mm -hmm. there's no one to check on me yes there's no records there's, no there's records. nothing like records so yeah. um i'll try and then just dumping anything yeah 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 we should remember that whatever you sow that is the same thing you'll be reaping, you'll be reaping. okay and then god is all knowing mm -hmm. he's all seeing all seeing he sees everything mm -hmm. so far as you dump in something there's an angel to check yes yes so if you decide mm -hmm. to do god on this one mm -hmm. Then you are going to face that penalty that Ananias and Sapphira faced. Okay. The same thing. So, according to Stephen Adum Chedia, he's he's very caring to the extent that he wants us all to be blessed yeah. by God. So yeah. we should check the way and manner we give our offering. And then this harvest is in a way trying to show our gratitude. Gratitude to God. To God. Throughout the whole At month. At least for keeping you through yes, the month. Yes, keeping you throughout yeah. the whole month. And sustaining you. That is, I, I, you see, that is leadership by example. Yes. I think it is why, that is the reason why he stands before the congregation to present his, in order to encourage and motivate others to also do so. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We, we thank God for the life of his prophet, uh, Stephen Adun Chidua. God bless him wherever he is. Now, you see, we have the Abrahamic religions. Uh, before... Christ came, before Christ came. Let's see what were the forms of worship or how did man worship God? If, if you can enlighten us, pair the message that was delivered by Stephen Adun Chiria, the prophet of God, today. Uh, mm -hmm. mm, okay, okay, let me just... Let, let me start with Mr. Daniel Kofi. Uh, I think he's ready to... Some input. Yes. I think uh, before... Uh, we got to know that there was God. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, we could trace the line to Abraham. Yes. Because we got to know that Abraham was a friend to God. And the father of faith. Yes. Mm -hmm. And based on that, he noted that once he has a God, mm -hmm. then there was a need to also give sacrifices. Okay. To his God. To his God. Mm -hmm. So that the relationship will be established. Okay. So when he passed on, he had also then given birth to uh, Isaac and then Ishmael, mm. the sons. Okay. They also knew that, yes, their father was worshipping God. Mm -hmm. However, uh, because of diverse uh, sort of thought and also coming from different mothers, they took their different ways. They all knew that their father worshipped God. 
Okay. So they also decided to worship God. Okay. This brought about two major religions. Mm -hmm. That is a Jewish or Judaism mm -hmm. practice, and then also you talk about Islamic mm -hmm. type of worship. Mm -hmm. They were all worshiping God. Okay. In the truth, honesty, mm -hmm. with all their zeal and power and authority. Okay. Because we are talking about issues related to Abraham. Yes. That is the era of Moses and others. Mm -hmm. It meant that they were practicing the rule of the law. Okay. And that was an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Okay. So those were the worship. And that, that's this, the mosaic laws. Yes. Okay. And these rules were helping them mm -hmm. to be able to worship God appropriately. Right. Uh -huh. So, if you were not a descendant of Abraham then, in that line, then means these two worships were not for you. Mm -hmm. So, aside it, there was also other people who worshipped. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But they were all regarded as pagans. Okay. Or idol worshippers. Idol worshippers. Yes. yes. And if we want to go through, we'll know that um, those of Abraham... Uh, uh, sorry, Isaac, because they were more related to God and were talking about Judaism, mm -hmm. they worshipped in temples. Okay. And then we also have um, the Islamic people who were worshipping in the mountains. Uh, also in structures or temples. Yes. Okay. And they all believed that through their various sacrifices, they could reach out to God. Okay. Right. So, in short, when you take the two, all trying to worship God by different moods. Mm -hmm. The others, all that we did was regarded as pagan oh, and idol, uh, worshiping. idol worshiping. And I oh. think that was why Stephen Adum Chidia, the prophet of God, has been sent so that he will enlighten us to identify our type of worship. And if we don't belong to any of these two, because we are not direct descendants, mm -hmm. then we will know the right form of worship that we're supposed to take. Okay, thank you very much. So that we will know the right form of worship that we would like to take. These are the last words of Mr. Daniel Kofiosa. Now, uh, Mrs. Dorothy Nioma, what do you also have to add to what he is saying now? Because uh, it's made us to understand that uh, Ishmael and Isaac, all being products of Abraham, came into this world and then they practiced a form of religion or worship to the God of their father. And we can say that because Ishmael lost touch with a father when he was young, he couldn't do the same as uh, Isaac was doing, but they were all meant to worship God. So what do you also have to add? And then uh, the other people or the other descendants who were not from Abraham, how did they also worship? And how do we term their form of worship? Thank you very much once again. Okay. Yes. According to Stephen Adum Chedria, the prophet of God, this have made mention of the fact that those type of worshipping of God mm -hmm. were all there and those people are, were worshipping God directly. Okay. But with different forms mm -hmm. of sacrifices. Okay. So he said the Islamic, that's the Muslims, uh -huh. they will sacrifice rams. Yeah, the uh, Judaism mm -hmm. will also do the same. Okay. And it's like it were related all right. Mm -hmm. Though those people are Judaism and those ones are Islamic, mm -hmm. they were all enshrined in the sacrifices. Okay. Using uh, symbols, signs, signs and yes. other things, mm -hmm. artists to mm -hmm. depict their religion and okay. their practices. Mm -hmm. So they were all into it. Mm -hmm. And it's like they also felt they are worshipping God. Okay. Uh -huh. But they were dealing with God directly. Really. And so it came a time... Rebecca gave birth, and even when he was conceived, mm -hmm. according to Stephen Adum Chedua, the prophet of God, Esau and then Jacob, okay. they were in the same womb, but facing one other direction uh -huh, okay. from the norm. Uh -huh. You know, and normally when twins are in the womb, according to uh, gynecologists, uh -huh. you, so you, they face you each take other. the scan and they, they are facing each, each other. other. But these twins, they were facing... Back to back. <laughs> so their backs were together. together. And then with their faces facing, facing other sides. Yes. Okay. 
uh -huh. meaning they have their own vision and mission and they have their <laughs> own intentions. And the of worship yes. that they were bringing. So uh -huh. they also came to the world and lo and behold, they were divided in the same way. Yes. So Jacob took to Judaism, kind of worshipping God, yes. and then Esau also took to Islamic kind of worship God. So okay. they came to strengthen and confirm or affirm those two religions very mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. So they continue with the practices mm -hmm. their uh, fathers started mm -hmm. or their grandfathers started. And so at a point when uh, Jesus in heaven realized that mm, people are trying to worship God, but they are struggling. Mm -hmm. So let me come in to help. You know, from the time of Adam's we fell and we're separated from God. Okay. So it's like man is struggling to worship God as before. Okay. But now we are struggling. Mm -hmm. And for that matter, as uh, Mr. Wissain said, we lost one of the, the trying God. We lost one of them. Mm -hmm. The God the Father was there. Mm -hmm. God the Holy Spirit was in existence. Mm -hmm. So God the Father was meant for justice. Yes. And then God the Holy Spirit was meant for honesty. Honesty. So the justice was there. You okay. know, we even we have Sharia law. Yeah. If you go contrary to the norm, mm -hmm. you are either killed or given some lashes. Mm -hmm. You are not supposed to go away from what we are being taught. Okay, so strictly, strictly by the law. By the law. Rigorous law. Yes. Yeah. You have to follow it. Mm -hmm. There wasn't any mercy mm -hmm. for anything. Okay. Until you, uh, you 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 do the right thing. If you fall short, you'll be punished duly. Okay. In the Judaism, too, like the Moses law. Yeah. Eye for eye, you do me, I do you kind yeah. of things. There's no forgiveness. So Jesus was there, wasn't feeling comfortable. Mm -hmm. Said, mm, something is missing. Yeah. Though God the Father is working, God the Holy Spirit is working. It's left to one. Mm -hmm. So Daddy, please give me the opportunity mm -hmm. to go down, to plead for the second chance for the Christians to be able to worship you well. Mm -hmm. And because these people have started their own way, out. There's no way you uh, you will be able to draw them back. Mm -hmm. It will be difficult. Mm -hmm. But really, like there were others mm -hmm. who don't know how they will worship God. Mm -hmm. So they are the Gentiles mm -hmm. that the Lord So mm -hmm. Jesus said, "No, let me come down for these people. Mm -hmm. They are always all right, but they don't know where to pass mm -hmm. in order to get to you, God. So that when I give them the second chance, they will be able to also come to you." Okay. Then Jesus came, and then. He started with the Gentiles. Okay. So they also started worshipping on Sundays. Mm -hmm. That's a Christian, uh, uh, what, Christianity. Christianity. That's a Christian, Christian religion, religion. Yes. Yeah, that's all you said. To make up okay. what? The three main religion. religions. Yeah, but yeah. the three main religions, the Christian religion, also dominated from the Jewish religion. Mm -hmm. You know, there were others, as I said, though there were Gentiles who don't come near. Mm -hmm. those practices, the Judaism and then yeah, the uh, 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 Islamic religion, religion because yeah. of the sacrifices and those things. Mm -hmm. You know, the Gentile, they first say, we are all so sinful mm -hmm. and we do all kinds of atrocities. Mm -hmm. But this, the way they sacrifice, the way they worship God, they are too close to God. Mm -hmm. And if you go contrary to, you will be punished your duly. Okay. So they don't come near at all. Okay. So they were somewhere he, the, at the back. But when Jesus came by his plea, he was able to bring them on board. Reconcile them. Yeah, reconcile okay. them. Okay. Uh, Brother Magyal Avoko, what do you also have to say about this? Uh, Mrs. Uh, Dorothy Wabinyama has given us a lot and then was talking about the three God heads, the triune gods. Ca can you also enlighten us from that angle? The, talking about uh, justice, honesty, and mercy. If you can throw light on that one too. Okay. Thank you very much. And may the good Lord bless his prophet, Stephen Adam Chidia. Amen. Um, the Jew and mm -hmm. then the Islams, mm -hmm. their main source of existence was based on the law. The laws. Okay. They were being governed by the law, and without the law, they are nobody. Mm -hmm. They are forms of worship. Yeah, okay. they are forms of worship. Okay. And then this law, mm -hmm. these were laws given through um, prophecies mm -hmm. from God the Father. Mm -hmm. And then through God the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. Unto, them. unto them. So okay. according to what Stephen Adam Chida, the prophet of God, said today, mm -hmm. justice was meant for the Jew mm -hmm. and then honesty for the Islam. Yes. So when How? you 
can can you retreat that point? How yeah. come justice was for the Jews and then the honesty for the Islams? Yeah. Thank you very much uh -huh. for, for that question. Well, we never knew. Okay. As I said, according mm -hmm. to Stephen Adunchidia, mm -hmm. we've been blessed today okay. because he has imparted knowledge in all of us. Okay. Yeah. So, um, you know, God the Father, per the teachings given by Stephen Adunchidia, mm -hmm. he is a God of justice. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Do unto others as you want them to do unto you. Okay. And then when you err, you have to face the penalty. You have to face the penalty. God, okay. the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. is an honest God. Oh, okay. If you transgress against his law, mm -hmm. you should face the penalty. The penalty. There's even said in a, a part of the Bible the that Bible. when you sin against the Holy Spirit, you'll never be forgiven Forgive here, yes, yes. neither on earth or in, or heaven. in heaven. Yeah. Okay. So, um... There was an instant that happened in the Bible okay. concerning this woman who fornicated. Yes. Mm -hmm. Per the law, if you fornicate or if you, you adulterate or yes. something of that you sort. adulterate or fornicate. Fornicate. Yes. You ha the penalty or the reward is you should be stoned to death. Yes, okay. These were the challenges they were going through. Mm -hmm. So, um, as I said, that was what was governing them, mm -hmm. the law. Mm -hmm. And there were other people, mm -hmm. group of people who were not either Jew or, or they were not well, Muslim, Arabs. Yes, Arabs, yes okay. Yeah, to be precise. Mm -hmm. And these people, their way of living mm -hmm. has already made them to err against the law. Wow. If you place them on the scale of the law, they may even fall down. Meaning their way off. of life. Their way of life, their qualified. lifestyle, they are not qualified. Oh, okay. So mm -hmm. these are the Gentiles, Mama Riley said. Okay. And then these people... They are those wallowing in sin. Wow. They are wow. those in the mud. In the mud. Swimming in the mud. Hmm. And then these are the people, as Mama Riley said, you know, Adam ate, mm -hmm. Adam sinned, mm -hmm. meaning Adam stained the whole white garment. He stained the white yes. garment with stains. Yes. yes. These are the people that Jesus pleaded for. Mm -hmm. As Stephen Adum Chedia, the prophet of God, taught today, mm -hmm. God the Father and then God the Holy Spirit, they were functional by then. Yeah, had established their forms yes, of worship. Yes, their forms of worship, but mm -hmm. God the mercy wasn't functional. Mm -hmm. Until, for instance, the analogy I was giving the Bible, mm -hmm. when Jesus said um, the first person should to throw the stone, it will be someone who have not sinned sin yes. before. If you've not sinned before, then cast the stone. So Jesus was demonstrating that he is the God of mercy. mercy. And he came to save the sin mm -hmm. or the sinners. So as Jesus asked for second chance in the sight of God the Father and then God the Son, he came purposely, as the Bible stated, mm -hmm. that he came for the lost. For the lost. He came for the sinners. Mm -hmm. You know, that is why a time came that certain Pharisees went to him. Mm -hmm. That how come? Go and ask your master, why is it that he's rocking shoulders with sinners, mm -hmm. prostitutes, mm -hmm. and then how come mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. someone who is a holy teacher, teaching with authority, yes, teaching with authority and then performing all these miracles, miracles. how come is he rocking shoulders with sinners? Mm -hmm. He said, it point blank, I didn't come for the righteous. Yes, yes. And According to Stephen Adum Chedi's teaching, he has made us known that the righteous or they are the elect ones. The elect ones. The Muslims God, yes. and then the Jews. The Jews. We are the lost. That's the, the Arabs. The and Arabs the Jews. and then the Jews. So Christ came purposely for the Gentiles. For the Gentiles. Those whose lifestyle were not making them to be qualified yes. according to the law. Wow. 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 And so... From, from the analogy you've given, it, it, it means that religion back then lacked mercy. Yes. That is yes, why yes. the moment one is, then there a should stiff be an instant punishment. justice. Yes, instant justice. It's method on them. Okay, so now with God the mercy or God of mercy coming into the picture, and we all know from Stephen Adunchi, the prophet of God, that God of mercy is God the word of Jesus Christ coming into the picture. Then we Gentiles. What is the sure way for us to be saved? Because per what you were saying, we were not even qualified to follow the laws of these Arabs or the Jews. So as Gentiles, how do we reconcile with our God? Let me start from you again then. I, I, I'll, I'll go to Mr. Daniel Kofi Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, when Jesus Christ came, he said something that he didn't come to destroy the law, okay. neither the prophets. Okay. He came to make them perfect. To fulfill them. 
to mm -hmm. fulfill them. Okay. Yeah. And then the main intent of the law was to get man to God. Okay. Or God the Father in heaven. Mm -hmm. And the law couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. So Jesus came just to restructure things mm -hmm. and then make sure that man would have this opportunity to commune with God in heaven. Okay. So the main purpose of Christ coming mm -hmm. just was to make sure that, as I, we rightly said, for sinners. For the Gentiles. For the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. So um, we Gentiles are very fortunate. Okay. To the extent that Christ came, he said that he is the way, mm -hmm. the truth, and the life, and then no one goes to the Father mm -hmm. except through him. True so him. if you are a Gentile, you should count yourself blessed. Okay. We have certain Gentiles, let's say, who are trying to practice Judaism, and some Islam. even, yeah, Islamic mm -hmm. religion. Mm -hmm. But the explanation Stephen Adun Chedia, the prophet of God, gave today. Yes. On the land of the Arabs, mm -hmm. for instance, yes. we have an angel assigned mm -hmm. to them. Yeah. The land of the Jews, mm -hmm. there's an angel assigned who mm -hmm. goes there per information from heaven to bless mm -hmm. them. said, if you're a Gentile and then you want to practice the lifestyle of the Jews, mm -hmm. you are among Gentiles. We Gentiles, our lifestyle is even abominable per the law. Yeah. So if you're a Gentile and then you want to practice Judaism, mm -hmm. for instance, he said, um, the greatest of it all, we Gentiles are Ghanaians. Yes. So, yeah, so, <laughs> so for we Ghanaians, you're a Ghanaian and then you are practicing Judaism or you are an, foreign uh, 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 this foreign yeah. court, um, form of religion, you are governed by Gentiles and the lifestyle is very simple. So mm -hmm. if the angel who is blessing the Arabs mm -hmm. wants to visit you here mm -hmm. in the home of the Gentiles, mm -hmm. we, are, we are just showing um, things that are abominable uh, to the I angel. Said and obnoxious. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. So how then would the angel even visit? So he said that this is the main reason why they just hook on to this religion and then they, they don't see the results of it. They are uh -huh. not being blessed. So um, at times it gets to the extent of that um, we have certain Muslim leaders who are now malams. Doing things. Doing their yeah, things wayward. Mm -hmm. We have certain, at times certain men of God, God has not even called them to the office of the prophet, but they, they wear the shoes of prophets to act as prophets mm -hmm. because they are not seeing any results. Okay. Okay. So it means they have to take their own destiny into their own uh, That is it. If you are a Gentile, okay. try to be a Gentile. Christ okay. came for the Gentiles. Okay. Mr. Daniel Kofiwes, I, I saw that you were nodding yeah. that you have a point to add. Good. What do you also have to add to what I mean, Mr. Michael? Yes, I, I want to add to the fact that mm -hmm. we were talking about the two major forms of worship. Mm -hmm. The Islamic and then the Jew Jewish one. Okay. Uh -huh. So looking at it, we could establish by what Stephen Adum Chidu, the prophet of God, taught us that those two, though the rules were rigid, they were worshipping God in truth. Okay. Now, at that time, Stephen Adum Chidua, the prophet of God, mentioned that mm -hmm. uh, even nobody could mention the name of God. Yes. Because these laws or rules governing the worship in Islam and Jewish, mm -hmm. they were just there to make sure that each person was on the line and did not do anything that would bring wrath onto the people okay. because God will not countenance that. Yes. So this was happening and the rules, like we said, were so mm -hmm. stringent that apart from those who were real or true worshippers, being Jewish or Islams or Muslims, the others found it quite difficult to worship in mm -hmm. their lines. Mm -hmm. And because of that, even amongst them, which pe people regarded as holy, if you dare make a mistake to mention the name of God, Stephen Adum Chibria, the prophet of God, as mentioned, said, you are consumed by fire. fire. That the lip that you open to even mention God's name could be consumed and you will find your teeth just open, exposed. Hmm. So it means that it was even an abomination it wasn't easy. to try to mention God, let alone do things that would bring anger. Or to even sin. <laughs> so, uh, the others felt that fine. Then there was no way, there was no need to even venture going near the mosques or the temples. Mm -hmm. So they took to idol worship. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. This Jesus saw that once it was a triumph God, mm -hmm. the Trinity was not working. Okay. So there was a need to also come and restore those who are missing. Okay. And because of that, he noted that those people had a characteristic. Mm -hmm. So Stephen Adum Chedua, the prophet of God, taught us today okay. that if you're a Gentile, mm -hmm. you have to remain in that characteristic. Okay. When we look at the two that okay. we've already talked about, mm -hmm. you could see that their faith is built on only God. On only God. There is nothing which exists in their faith aside God, yes. be it Jewish or oh, Islamic, Islamic worship. Yes. That is why whatever happens, they attribute it to God. Ah. Unfortunately for us, mm -hmm. the Gentiles, our characteristic is that we are tattered. We are <laughs> rotten. Uh, not mm -hmm. even worthy to be in the presence of God. And it was because of that reason that mm -hmm. Jesus came down on earth to mm -hmm. come and redeem us. Yeah. Unfortunately, what we know is that as the two always point to one direction, uh -huh. Uh -huh. we rather point to other angles yes. outside the domain of God. But we can say that there was no portion of God in ours. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. And for us to be able to get access to God, mm -hmm. we were to shift all our rotten or carry all everything on us, whether it's rotten, it is uh, filthy, to Jesus Christ. Okay. Unfortunately, our direction was that anything that is rotten in us is not caused by Jesus or God, but then by other mediums now so can you make that point very clear for our viewers for us to know the things that we were doing or that we used to do that depicts our decay as or decadence to, to to the barest minimum for them to know because at, uh, Stephen Adun Chiria, the prophet of God, gave some instances, yes. as you were saying, so that someone watching will get to understand what you mean by the okay. rotting nature of real right. Gentiles. So let me just even start by mm -hmm. trying to draw the line mm -hmm. from the Muslim yes. line. Uh -huh. When somebody dies today, yes. they say Allah has called him and La they give ilala. thanks ilala. to God. Mm -hmm. That is the end. For a Christian, mm -hmm. Or, I'll say the Gentiles. For we Gentiles. Gentiles. Yes. When something happens, somebody is dead in your house. It is witches hmm. that had consumed <laughs> the person. Uh -huh. If we even get something, or we are poor, mm -hmm. our poverty is because of family t ties, Covenant. family covenants. Mm -hmm. When we are rich, yes. again, it is attributed to the fact that we have use something which We've is gone for juju or occult, or occult <laughs> things to yes uh progress uh -huh. so it means within the gentile domain there is was nothing that points to god okay. when you compare it to the two other religions okay for them good or bad it is from god mm -hmm. so why is it that for us the gentiles when it is good it is the devil or it which is, is <laughs> and when it is bad it points out to the same direction so that it, demonstrates the, the decayance you are talking about. Yes. Okay. And the unfortunate thing was that mm -hmm. you cannot also interact with God. Mm -hmm. God or Jesus said he is coming for the rotten, mm -hmm. the bad, or those who are, I'll say, hopeless mm -hmm. in society. Mm -hmm. But you have a hope that what you are talking about comes from something. Okay. So it means that you have left the direction oh, that Jesus okay. was talking about. And Stephen Adum Chedia, the prophet of God, said the Gentiles were the salt that was left to spice the whole meal to make it tasty. And okay. that was what Jesus was looking for. Mm -hmm. So when we decide to attribute our problems to witchcraft, to uh, family covenants, occult practices, and all others, then it means that we have thrown the salt in us away. And when that happens, then means Jesus has no work to do. Okay. So the redemption of man was to remain or to happen if only we can keep our characteristic. And that is the reason why Jesus came. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Mrs. Nyama, uh, do you have something to add before um, you go on to read this uh, quotation? Yeah, just a little. Mm -hmm. Just a little. As my brethren have already mentioned, that Jesus came for the sinners. Yeah. So while people were 
worried about why he's mingling himself with mm -hmm. the sinners. Mm -hmm. He said, I came not for the, the righteous. I came for the sinners. Mm -hmm. That is why he ate with them. He had gatherings and all that with them. Meaning that we, the Gentiles, we made Jesus' mission accomplished. Okay. Without the Gentiles, Jesus' mission would be like a minister without portfolio. <laughs> you yes because I came with that subject. <laughs> very good. It's unfortunate that he said I came to my own, but I was not accepted by my own. Yeah, because we were still it. attributing all that happening to us mm -hmm. to other things mm -hmm. and other mm -hmm. uh, sources. Yeah. That is why he made that statement. Mm -hmm. That is because of you. Mm -hmm. I had pity on you. Yes. Though I descended to come and save you, yes. so that my father in heaven will be glorified. Mm -hmm. And I have come now, you are still looking elsewhere. Elsewhere. When okay. you are rich. It's juju money. Mm -hmm. When you are barren, it's your mother or your aunt, uh, auntie, your that is your, your <laughs> mother-in-law, especially, yes, <laughs> who is bewitching you. How can I get that glory for my father? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see? Yes. And so according to Steve Radim Chedia, the prophet of God, that is why we will be struggling mm -hmm. without getting what we are supposed to get. Yeah. But the moment you set your mind free and you set your faith uh, straight away on God, on God or Jesus and Christ. accept the fact that apart from him, there's none. Mm -hmm. As he usually says, she knew, mm -hmm. then you are part of it. Yeah, Testimony part. will start coming your way. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, th there's one thing that I wanted. I, I want to add to what you were saying. For instance, uh, we Gentiles. Let's take Ghana, as you said. Ghana. We we are the champions of the Gentiles. <laughs> in in our land, for instance, uh, we know that we we've usually dedicated Saturdays for funerals and barriers. Mm -hmm. And when you go to the Jewish community, Saturdays are Sabbath. That's nothing of that sort happens. Yeah. So now you are practicing Judaism yeah, in, in this country. Where about yeah. Saturdays are for funerals and burials? If those prayers are being carried away every now and then, how then do you get your blessings? This is a question I, I, I'm posing to my viewers. So how then do we get our blessings? If we want to cultivate a Jewish tradition in this land when our culture and lifestyle is different. Okay. I don't it. I yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, you know, the Bible says that we should count it all joy. Yes. Based on whatever we go through. Okay. So, um, as Mr. Sain and Mama has already explained, okay. Christ came for this, for all sinners. For all sinners. Anyone who is facing any tragedy, Mm -hmm. You are counted as one. You are the right candidate that Christ came for. Mm -hmm. So um, if you are going through any trial, okay. you should count yourself blessed. You count because yourself without blessed. you, Christ wouldn't be Christ. Wow. Who is he supposed to come and rescue? Uh, uh, rescue. So that is why he stated that the, about the blind man, the man who was born yes, blind. Yes, but uh -huh. Yeah. That's... He, the main cause of his blindness is not as a result of the sin of his parents or, or he himself. He himself. Okay. This is the doing of the Lord. God made him blind for a purpose, for Christ. The glory come, of God. Yes, for the glory to, to made manifest. Wow. So whatever wow. situation you are going through, you shouldn't ascribe it to anything mm -hmm. apart from Christ. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is something we should take note of. We should take note of. Yeah. Thank you very much. Now, when uh, Mrs. Uh, Dorothy Wabinyama was speaking now, uh, making a submission, she spoke about salt. And, and today, during the sermon of Stephen Adun Chile, the prophet of God, he also spoke about salt, the significance of salt, and then he related it to the lives of we Gentiles. Yeah. Yes. So, I want us to talk of it. Uh, please, if you can get the quotation that Stephen Adun Chile, the prophet of God, used today. That is Matthew chapter 5, verse number 13 to 16. If they can project it on the screen for our viewers to also watch. And then, uh, so if we can look at it, what is it? What did he talk about? Let me, let me try and read this quotation uh, from here. Okay. So, Matthew chapter 5. Please, viewers, open with us. We, yeah, open with us. Open with us and then let us all try and read. Because over here, what we do is we do deep scriptural and an intellectual discourse. Okay. Now, it says, Ye are the salt of the earth. Yeah. But if the salt have lost his silver, 
Well, what shall it be sorted? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Okay, so let's look at the value of salt and what happens for the salt to be trodden upon yeah. by the foot of men. You know, today, per the analogy Stephen Adam Chedia, the prophet of God gave, okay. out of all the glories we buy mm -hmm. for preparing a simple soup or stew, stew mm -hmm. in the house, mm -hmm. we buy, let's say, tomatoes, um, fish, and then the rest. But the cost of salt is very meager, very cheap. And then he said that this is the cheapest, but bears the greatest value. If you prepare or add all these groceries together in the saucepan and then mix them together, fry it a little and then you don't add salt, are you going to taste what you have prepared? Okay. No. So per the teachings Stephen Adam Chedia gave, if the Bible or Jesus is saying that we are the salt of this earth, mm -hmm. then it means we are the most valuable. Wow. The most valuable. And then per what he said, he said that in the beginning, mm -hmm. it's just that we ate mm -hmm. and we became last. Okay. But now, for the sake of Christ, mm -hmm. the last is now becoming the, the first. first. We are like that cornerstone mm -hmm. that was being rejected, rejected by the builders. Okay. So if you are a salt, it means you have this greatest high integrity. Value. Value. Wow. Wow. That's another revelation. Okay, Mr. Daniel Kofi was asking. So, for a sort, as we've come to know that we are valuable in every suit, it doesn't matter our price. Yes. That's how people see you, but you are of great worth. But then, how then do we get trodden upon? How do we lose our sortiness for man to tread upon us under their feet? Yes. Um, Stephen Adum Chidua, the prophet of God once again built up the whole sermon from the Easter period okay. where he makes us aware that our body is the temple of God. Okay. So we have to worship God in truth and in spirit within our bodies. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately for us, we believe that there is a temple somewhere where God dwells in with a pastor or a prophet being the leader. This is where we go to seek sort of ref, ref, refuge and when we get there where we're supposed to be restored that's where we even get degraded yeah. you'll be at the church and somebody a pastor will just point at you hey you stand over here mm -hmm. i have seen that your head has been chopped off <laughs> all right lady just get up <laughs> your womb uh -huh. has been cemented <laughs> All these filthy things uh -huh. are coming from the house of the Lord. Wow. And he is saying that, mm -hmm. Stephen Adum Chedia, the prophet of God, is mm -hmm. saying that the salt in you mm -hmm. is so valuable, mm -hmm. though we see it as something very little. Yes. It is so worthy that you don't have to give that little thing out yes. just with little utterances. Because you are sick, you don't have to even devalue yourself to that yes. level. Yes. You go to the church mm -hmm. and somebody professes something onto you which is degrading you mm -hmm. taking out the salt that is in you mm -hmm. because it is this salt that Jesus is looking up to yes. so that the testimony the miracles the signs and wonders will now come out so that the glory of God will be manifested yes unfortunately mm -hmm. once you go out mm -hmm. and you hear this words mm -hmm. and you also accept it yes it means you have given out your sword. Wow. So once you believe that it is witches, mm -hmm. which are the cause of your challenge, Jesus has no hand in it. Mm -hmm. But when you still hold on to your faith, the little sword, that because of that, after you've bought your cow leg, which is about 50 Ghana cities, <laughs> your tomatoes, all the spices, uh, uh -huh. even after taking a taste of it, you will know that when it has been prepared and it's not delicious, mm -hmm. if you taste it, you will certainly go out mm -hmm. and look for salt. And look for salt. Sometimes, mm -hmm. a very shy person will not even go out to buy. He will just get to the neighbor because he's in a hurry to eat. Yes. He knocks and then asks for the salt. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, he's even brought in the bowl oh, for yes. you to pick. Uh -huh. 
So it is telling you that, yes, salt may be valueless mm -hmm. to you. Because when you, you are making price, your budget, at the price. Yes. you are making your budget, you look at the things which are expensive, mm -hmm. you list them. Yes. But you are likely to leave as salt mm -hmm. because it's just a token. Mm -hmm. This is what Jesus Christ is telling you. That rather keep hold of, take note of the salt mm -hmm. and keep it. No matter what people use to sort of try to, um, I say, uh, kind of, uh, downplay you. Or not even downplay. Uh -huh. I'm looking at something that they use to sort of uh, give you some hope. Okay. That there is something better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh -huh. No matter the situation, if people are trying to sort of encourage you yes, or motivate you to uh -huh. leave mm -hmm. your little thing mm -hmm. for something which is huge, mm -hmm. you have to be very careful. Okay. Because that motivation may not give you what you're really looking for. Because okay. at the end of the day, the little that you are holding that you thought was worthless mm -hmm. is what Christ is looking for. Okay. You may leave your work, which is fetching you very little, mm -hmm. and follow someone who is promising you, taking you to do some job, mm -hmm. especially like we see our sisters being carried to Jordan various, and those places. Yes, uh -huh. Arab countries to go and serve so they will get some money. They end up coming with ailments, some even getting mad here and there. Killed someone and or, or this is what Stephen Anunchidia, yes. the prophet of God, is telling us. That we have to keep hold to the salt. Because without the salt, all the meal that has been prepared will be oh, useless. Tasteless. Yes. Tasteless. So we have to keep to it. Okay. And that is only when we can still hold on to the faith that there is God. No matter the state in which we are, okay. God will certainly redeem us one day. Okay. Okay, uh, uh, Mrs. Dorothy, who have been near, mm. let's look at it sort in relation yeah. to Gentiles. According to Stephen Adum Chedria, the prophet of God, the sort is a valuable item. And according to his teaching, he teaches this afternoon, it's because of this sort, in that, that is why Christ came. And to him, we are important, but because we devalue ourselves due to certain situation we are going through. But Jesus came for that little thing, for the barrenness, the poverty you are going through, the sickness, okay. your diabetes, okay. your BP, mm -hmm. your cancer, mm -hmm. your fibroids, yes. your blindness, uh -huh. your spinsterness. Yes. And being a bachelor, that is why Jesus came. Mm -hmm. Your poverty and all that. Yes. That is the sword Jesus was going to tap mm -hmm. to glorify the Father. Wow. To exhibit the power in God. Mm -hmm. To show forth that there is power. In the name of Jesus. Which can make you <laughs> and set you free. Yes. So if you are able to endure yes. in that state, mm -hmm. you stand in for Christ. Okay. Christ will use you as what? An uh, experimental sort of item. Yeah, we, we do say guinea pigs uh -huh. to demonstrate uh -huh. the power of God. Yes. To show to the whole world that yes, God is God. Mm -hmm. But here is the case. Mm -hmm. You know, when you read further, he said, um, however, mm -hmm. can it be made salty again? Yes. I see, if the salt loses its taste mm -hmm. or saltness, how can it be made? Uh, sorted again. Mm -hmm. It is no longer good for anything mm -hmm. except to be thrown out and trampled by men. Yes. And just like my brother uh, Mr. Osain said, mm -hmm. when you are not able to endure yes. your pain, mm -hmm. to stand in for Christ, that no feet. matter what, mm -hmm. I know one day my time will be up. up. Then you come. start looking for solution elsewhere. Yes. That is where you will be thrown out that value that is in you that Jesus was going to use as a show. Mm -hmm. Papa will say, I will be a show. Yeah, yes. Show yeah. I will use it as a platform mm -hmm. to glorify God. Yes. If you are not able to endure that and you start moving left to the right, mm -hmm. center, back, front, <laughs> look for help. For that help. is where you go. There's like you have belittled yourself. Okay. Oh, is it because of this uh, poverty? Is it because of this sickness mm -hmm. that you have... Uh, devalue yourself okay 
and disrespected yourself. Okay. So if you have disrespected yourself, people will also disrespect you. Mm -hmm. And that is why you'll be there. They will call you in front of all the congregation that your head is chopped off, as Mr. Stein said. Well, you also have your head Your on. head is on, but they <laughs> said it's chopped off. That you are going to die in three days' time. That your mom is bewitching you, uh -huh. your auntie is bewitching you, your dad is behind your predicament. Uh -huh. It's because you have thrown the important, the valuable item in you away. <laughs> you couldn't endure. <laughs> so what Jesus could have used to, uh, as, as a platform mm -hmm. to showcase his power mm -hmm. in him, you have gone there for them to just devalue it. Wow. So if you are for a day fiend, whatever you are going through, Papa was using it as a, a caution to us. No matter the trials, no matter the tribulations, mm -hmm. no matter what you are going through, mm -hmm. Jesus is there for you. Because yes. he came purposely for you. Yes. It's because we couldn't identify him, let yes. alone to accept him. accept him. Yes, that is why we were wallowing. But if now we have come back to our senses Repentance. by the power of God and yes. by the grace of uh, God giving us, enlightening us, mm -hmm. if you accept it, you hold on fast to it. You will be saved. You will get your testimony. You. The mercy will be extended to you. Okay. God's mercy endures forever. And they are new every morning. Every morning. So let's wait patiently for God. Our Lord, time will the be Lord up. bless you. You see, there, 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 there was this colleague who was teaching and doing well in one school. Then a newly posted pastor, let me go that way, a man of God came to the school. He said he is a teacher but claims he's a pastor. He told them that the students have turned the teacher's neck. <laughs> 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 they've turned his face he said they went f they went to for the head to go and play football i never knew oh look at some of these things and, and they now didn't come on time oh yes now his face is facing face. uh uh backwards so the guy has to run from the school to go and seek for transfer and now he has been transferred to a remote <laughs> village <laughs> you see you see <laughs> throw it on paul you see <laughs> oh okay now <laughs> you, are how you are still watching Life for the prophet and today we are talking about unveiling hidden mysteries to philadelphia royals and then it is getting interesting and heated here you can also contribute by sending your message on our whatsapp platform and that's 0241 775 0 in no time we'll be going to our whatsapp platform to read some of the messages that are dropping and then our phone lines is 0201 169 and 0266-494-385. 0266-494-385. Continue to enjoy our program. Then remember that we are streaming live on Facebook and Facebook is Believers Worship Center. And on YouTube... YouTube is Stephen Adunchedia. Note, you also have we, we also have the Believers Worship Center mobile app. Please uh, recommend it to a colleague, a friend. Let them download it, and wherever they are, whether they have their TV set with them or not, they can enjoy the messages that are preached by Stephen Adunchedia, the Prophet of God. The Lord richly bless you for staying with us now let's continue uh brother michael i saw that you mm. really wanted to ask something now when you look at it from uh after you've given us your submission if you could help us and then let us also look at it from light you see these were elements Stephen i don't you spoke of in that quotation we have seen salt then light then we, we, we end up with that quotation yeah. okay so please if you can help us okay looking on the other side of the coin mm -hmm. per the explanation stephen adam chedia the prophet of god gave mm -hmm. he said that when you are called the salt of the earth it means that you are like unto david okay you know because of the cheapness of salt we normally look upon it we we, we don't value it yeah, okay most often okay so it's like we, we deject it or something mm -hmm. of that sort. Mm -hmm. So he said that from that explanation, we are like unto David. David, he was cast out from the okay. family. He wasn't part of the family. And s Jesus, as he said today, also hailed from the line of David. And we feel our Davians also hailed from that same line. So Jesus, coming from the home of Nazareth, where we thought nothing good can come from, that is where this mighty king emanated from. So um, as the salt of the earth, and then for we fill out defiants, no matter whatever you it's are going to, you should count it all. You should make sure that um, you jot it down that one day 
you are going to come out from your shells, yeah, into the lamb light. Okay. Well, based on the light, that we are the light of this world, it means that as um, Papa, um, mm -hmm. Mr. Sai said, okay. we are the temple of God. Mm -hmm. And then as the temple of God, mm -hmm. you are expected to be like a testimony. Okay. Yeah, you should use your body to testify the existence of Jesus Christ. Okay. So being the light of this world, it means that people should see you and then count your blessings and name them one by one. You can never be called a Christian or the light of this world. Mm -hmm. And then what we see around you is, yes. let's say, um, retrogression. Okay. Um, we are not seeing any important progress in your life. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. As the light of this world, you are as being taught by the Easter messages. Mm -hmm. You are expected to make sure that you testify to the existence of Jesus Christ. Okay. You should give testimonies. Okay. Yeah, let's say, for instance, mm -hmm. I'm a Christian. Yes. I'm the light of this world. Yes. And then I'm carrying this serious disease, mm -hmm. which is very prominent. Everyone can see. Mm -hmm. And then I'm also preaching, the Lord will heal you. Mm -hmm. The Bible says you should remove the speck in your eye before you move someone else's. Mm -hmm. So being the light of this world means that mm -hmm. you yourself, mm -hmm. you must make sure, based on the il um, illumination, mm -hmm. you should make sure that we see others also. Okay, but, but let's look at this. We, we can also say that uh, though Sarah was barren, yeah. but same cannot be said about the mates. In the house, Abraham and Sarah, though they were barren, you could see that I, I, you can tell that though Eliezer's wife was not mentioned, but they, they were flourishing and they gave birth. That is why when Hagar tried Abraham, she also conceived. But I believe it is how you keep your posture yeah. through it all. Being the light of the world, what do you say when you go through these trials, these temptations? Will you still keep your faith to the end? Yeah. So, you see, uh -huh. as I was explaining, yes. we started from the salt. Uh -huh. You are the salt of this yes. earth. Yes. And then we know the regards we give to salt yes. is very cheap. Yes. That is the situation in which we are. Mm -hmm. So being the salt of this earth and then also the light of the, the, light world, of the world, it means you should, let's say we are using the shells of a mm -hmm. snail as mm -hmm. the challenges that mm -hmm. we are going through. Mm -hmm. You should come out of your shell. You should come out of your shell. One day into the lamp light. Yes. So, as the light of the world, mm -hmm. it means you should shine. Okay. You should project Christ you should project with Christ. your lifestyle, your lifestyle and, then and, and everything about you. About you. Okay. okay. So, meaning that uh, as a Christian, people should be able to look at you and then identify Christ in you or come to know Christ in you. Yes, uh, Mrs. Dorothy Niyama, what do you also have to say about that? Very, very true. Mm -hmm. The light and then the thoughts, mm -hmm. they go together. Okay. So, if you are thirsty, Mm -hmm. People want to see good things, just like the salt add taste mm -hmm. to the food. No mm -hmm. matter the uh, expensive ingredients you buy, mm -hmm. if you don't add the salt, the food is tasteless. Okay. So, in other words, the taste, the salt in us is the taste. Papa said it's a mystery we don't know. Yes. It's the value we have. The value we have. Yes, but mm -hmm. we don't know. So, we throw it away before okay. to trample over it. Okay. If you know the value that is in you, in you, you wouldn't throw it have. away. Yes, you wouldn't allow yes. yourself to be. If you know the value, you, you will not dress nakedly, mm -hmm. sharply, mm -hmm. expose yourself. That he said he even met some lady, he said he's a night worker. <laughs> night worker, whether he's a watchman or security, uh, nobody know knows. So he uh, probed further and realized that, as we should say, he was a prostitute. Uh -huh. You see, the way the person has dressed. Mm -hmm. There's no, he has thrown the, the test in him or in her away. Okay. And there's no light. Okay. If there's light, why didn't he dress in that manner in the day? Mm -hmm. You know, every evil thing is done in the dark. Okay. So the light in him has what? It's gone vanished. down. Yes, yes. It's vanished. And now darkness has darkness taken over. Darkness has taken over. Okay. So if there's light, you will see. When you are naked, you will see. When you are going out and you are dressed provocatively, you will see. Mm -hmm. that mm, This one, I don't have to take it out. Mm -hmm. If you are going to see, you will see. You will know. The light will prompt you. So the light is there. To show the Christ in us. Okay. So if you are you are the light of the, the, the world, it means you are not just be a mere Christian, a church goer, but you should portray Christ in you wherever, in your community, in your workplaces, in your homes, your environment, wherever you are. 
that character of Christ should portray, mm -hmm. should be portrayed everywhere. Okay. You being forgiveness, showing mercy, being what honest and all that, justice. It should be part of you. That shows that you are the light of the world. People are reading you. We are like newspapers. Mm -hmm. Christians are like newspapers. And you, daily. Sometimes you're even a Bible for someone a to read. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't even have to preach any anybody, but because of your behavior, your attitude, your lifestyle, it will draw people closer to God. That is the light he's talking about. Do you, do you know one thing I've observed recently? All this... Uh, Fas fashions that we can talk of, the, those style of dressing that we deem not fit can be found in our churches on Sundays. Ah, master. Now on Sundays, look at the dress. I, I, I sometimes, Stephen had been the prophet of Have God you not realized was it? asking that if the cloth was not enough or... Maybe you bought a quarter of a yard. The, you can see all their Instead breasts. Of maybe three off, or four yards. And now they just cut their slit from down there to their thighs. And when they sit, they, they have struggle. to use their handkerchiefs. When they are even working, when we, we saw it, you, 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 you struggle. When you are even, you want to board a, 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 a car, whether a taxi or whatever, maybe they have, they may have to <laughs> carry you into it. Why are you punishing <laughs> yourself? Uh -huh. Excuse me to say that the breast mm -hmm. and then the testicles are in trouble. They are in trouble. <laughs> because of the this. The are too tight. Uh -huh. car, they call skin tight. Skin tight. Uh -huh. hmm? Causing sort of uh, diseases to us, so we don't know which will surface in the future. It's serious. It's see? serious. It's serious. Okay. So, as a believer, being the light of the world, meaning everybody is seeing you wherever you are. Mm. You can have that is why sometimes people, when they go outside where they worship, okay, like they, they, they change destination, they don't want to mention where they worship mm -hmm. because of their lifestyle, they don't want anybody to know. Okay. So they worship in Christ underground. Okay. If you are a true believer, mm -hmm. you should expose your God. You should, Let everybody uh, know no. about your God. Okay. Yes. Okay. To also come and worship because you have seen the light. Let people come and see it. Okay. Okay. And as Papa said, because we are the sort of the world, we are tasteful. And people will also want to taste that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Why are we the only one going into uh, those uh, troubles? Mm -hmm. Are we the only one who having given birth? Are we the only one who is gnashing in poverty? Papa said he himself was sleeping on cupboards. Okay. His uh, dress was what? The only cloth he has. Wow. He had nothing. Sometimes hmm. go hungry. But he stood in. Jesus himself came. He was tempted mm -hmm. yeah. by Satan. You know, Satan was making mockery of him to see yes. whether he would uh, give in. But he resisted him. But we, when we have uh, one or two problems and we go out there because we have thrown the taste in us away, we, we, we just uh, accept it. They tell you, are going to die. You, this womb, it can never bring forth child hmm. unless I bath you. Unless I perform these rituals on you. Okay. Your mom is bewitched you. Then we accept it and we start praying about yeah. it. So, Papa said, if Jesus has started praying about the fact that this, yeah, he is angry, he is, the word is, Satan would have taken over. Okay. It means you have accepted it, okay. and it will dawn on you. Okay, but now, now, okay, you have to okay. resist it. Before, before I let okay. you continue, let me let me go to the WhatsApp line. Okay, and read some messages, and then uh, we, we continue. Since our time is virtually running, okay. This one says, "Adumo, Adumaraka, Philadelphia, the Sekron Kron." I was start today by the powerful sermon from Papa Adum. Now uh, miracles happened at Konongo Philadelphia movement. A man who came with his walking stick. Started working with his without his stick. Adumo, I'm charity from Konongo. Sister Charity, the Lord bless you. And uh this one is from Brother Agri. He says today's sermon is something else. More fire. We will surely go to heaven. Uh the Lord bless Stephen Adun Chida, the prophet of God. I, I'm Richie from Accra, East Legon. Adumo, indeed the Lord has been so good to me. Thank you, Lord. For the second chance, I'm so grateful. Philadelphia, Adesha, Kron, Kron. Wow, God bless Papa Adam for today's message. Stephen Adun Chedia, the prophet of God, is telling the truth. This has made me to remember my first day in Believers Worship Center, Kumasi. I was hiding my face very seriously from the camera. I didn't want people to see my face there. But today, my husband is the organizer here in Boko, and I'm there with him 247. Adumo, Admarakwa. That's Lois from 
Boko, Sister Lois. The Lord bless you. Okay, so Mr. Daniel, sir, let me give you the opportunity to yeah. uh, continue with what you were saying. Right, I think we were talking about mm -hmm. we being the light of the world. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, as uh, the narration went on, Stephen Adum Chidua, the prophet of God, uh, did mention Jesus visiting the Samaritan woman mm -hmm. and asking her for water. I think uh, he explained further that water symbolizes uh, the heart desire. Yes. So it's like once you give the person water, you've given all your heart desire to that person. Now, by being the light of the world, it means that we're supposed to go out and give testimonies of God, mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ. Yes. His goodness, his mercies, and all that we attributes we can link to him. This Stephen Adam Chedua, the prophet of God, has realized and was warning us that this testimony, we mm -hmm. know that the light that we're supposed to shine to the world okay. is to illuminate the world so that other people will find the grace and mercy so that they will also be able to worship. Unfortunately, as he's always telling us that he is not our prophet or okay. our pastor. Okay. And also trying to tell us that the temple of God is our body. He noted that what is happening right now is that many people, or most of us, will always go to the church where we can have pastors or mm -hmm. prophets mm -hmm. to sort of uh, complain to them about our predicament so that they will be helpful. When we get there, these people are the people who are going to put our light under the bushel. The fact is that even when you go to them, they ask you to pay money, maybe about thousand cities for a form of direction. When you know very well that your capital is just 200 Ghana cities, you go in and pay a thousand cities okay. to a man of God to give you a direction. And that direction is going to be attributed to him. Should it even be successful? Mm -hmm. That is what will happen. So where is the glory going to go to Jesus? Or when is it going to come to Jesus? Okay. This Stephen Adum Chidua, the prophet of God, is warning us that we should keep our salt. Mm -hmm. The little faith that we have, not go and just give it to the pastors, trample upon. Okay. And at the end of the day, rather make our case worse. Okay. So once we are the light of the world, we should make sure that we give our testimonies. Mm -hmm. And this, like the lady who sent the message, mm -hmm. is being confirmed in Philadelphia yes. movement. Uh -huh. As Stephen Anum Chidua, the prophet of God said, our testimonies are going to be so abundant that we will even have challenge of getting a place to let people know. Like he said earlier on, when people come to the church premises, mm -hmm. They don't even want cameras to pick their images. Yes, she said it. But right now, the sister has confirmed sister Lois, it. Sister yes. And Mboko. it is a fact <laughs> that the testimony, nobody can take it away from us. Mm -hmm. Because Stephen Adum Chedua, the prophet of God, said he has come to take over Christianity. And from today, we should watch out and see what is going to happen. And I know the light that has been lit in the Philadelphia movement is going to continue to glow and bright and bright to the point that the whole world will be illuminated. Okay, okay. Let, let me uh, try and read uh, three messages, then I come back to you. It says, uh, today's message is so powerful. May God continue to bless brother Stephen. And this is coming from a queer, a queer from Believers Worship Center convenience store. Okay, Sister Kia, the Lord bless you for bringing your message. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Papa, God bless you, really. We are blessed in Jesus' name. And this is from Sister Amma Bonsu from France, Paris. The Lord bless you, Sister, for bringing your message. Now, this is from Martin. I said, Adumo, God bless Papa. Papa is a prophet of God. The Lord bless you. And this is coming from Sergeant Jemfi in who he says, Adumo, I'm watching you live from Ho, and my name is Sergeant Jemfi. The Lord bless you, Sergeant, for watching and then also sharing with us. Okay, if you are a sojourner, you could never be equal to a Jew or an Arab before. Jesus gave us mercy and we have become the light to them. This is from Brother Josh in Tadi. 
the Philadelphian. Brother, the Lord bless you. Okay, so brother Michael, let me take your part. We'll be going over to the lines in no time. Please remember the number is 0201 169511. 0201 169511. And 0266 494385. 0266 494385. Okay, so brother Michael Afoka, let's listen to you. Yeah, you know, um, in First Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19, mm -hmm. it states that we are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Okay. And then um, we are not of our own. We are not of on our own. Yeah, okay. of on our own. We belong to the Holy Ghost. And this, about the Holy Ghost, this is what the prophet Stephen Adun Chedia of God has explained. Mm -hmm. That this is what Jesus Christ gave out on that very day when he died, on the Good Friday. Mm -hmm. And this is the same Holy Ghost yes. that he promised mm -hmm. all of us yes. that he is going to intercede on our behalf okay and this holy ghost does not dwell in any other thing except the temple of god which is our body that is our body yeah okay he stated that with a jew mm -hmm. their form of worship mm -hmm. they worship in a physical structure temple so they have a central temple. they have a central temple the Islams also have their temple mm -hmm. where they worship. Mm -hmm. But we Christians, we don't have anything like a central place or temple of yes. worshiping mm -hmm. God. We host the Holy Ghost in us because we are the temple of God. And then for that matter, as Christians, if truly you are hosting Holy Ghost in mm -hmm. you, then you are expected as a temple of God to live a lifestyle to contain the Holy Ghost in you. So he, he explained to the mm -hmm. extent that, as Mr. Osai has already yes. said, um, we rather go to church in the name of, we visited church and then as I'm visiting, I have to look, dress well, dress well yeah. mm -hmm. put on those modest dressing and then stuff. But when you leave church, mm -hmm. It means you have vacated church. Church is over. <laughs> uh, w when you enter into your businesses, your homes, that is when you dress anyhow. Okay. Someone asked a question concerning that when he's praying, when she's praying, and uh, can she be in any any attire or? Uh, she, 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 she wants to know that mm -hmm. uh, she's watching Second Chance TV and Stephen Adun Chidi, the prophet of God, is ministering or praying. Now she is almost naked in a room can she tap into that prayer or partake in that prayer you know the very moment that word prayer yes is being mentioned mm -hmm. and then pertaining to women mm -hmm. the bible states that you should cover your head because of the angelic visitation, visitation. and that is where we have reached mm -hmm. an angel can pop in yes. to minister unto you and then as a, a, a woman, yes. you are expected to cover your head. For a man, you are not supposed to do so. And she must also cover herself. Yes, modestly, and I, yes. modestly. Yeah, yeah. Prepare yourself for the ministration of the angels. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, again, when Stephen Adum you are the prophet of God, is ministering unto you. Okay. You must know that whatever he is telling you is something he has been sent with to give to you. Anytime you get a messenger or a visitor coming to your house, uh, in whichever state you are, uh, even though the house belongs to you, you are at liberty to do whatever you like. If you are naked, you will never come out to meet the visitor in your nakedness. Okay. You cover up yourself. So once the word of God is being ministered unto you, take your church, uh, your body, mm -hmm. you know, Yes. We know it's a temple of God. Uh -huh. We don't go out naked. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. We prepare ourselves. We wear clothes. So at least uh, you can lie on your bed as probably she's doing. But you wear clothes, cover yourself and be in the mood to receive. Okay. If it's the point that maybe you are not fit to sit, at least you have to dress up. Okay. Uh -huh, so that you can also get a visit as Brother Michael has said. Okay. Okay. Uh, please, uh, I'll allow you to also 
talk, uh, but the messages are trickling in, and then uh, let me read about two of them. Some of them now, is, you see, the reason why I'm reading this, most of them are testimonies confirming mm -hmm. the spoken words of Stephen Adun Chedia, the prophet of God. Mm -hmm. This one says, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. After I got the prayer materials, I've received good news about job, my job application that I've been praying for so long. Mm -hmm. So, uh, God bless. The prophet of God, Stephen Adum Chidia, Philadelphia, and this is coming from Nana Owusu, from Obuase Adanse Akru. From the Lord bless you, brother, for sharing your testimony with us. And it says, Adumo, in fact, today's message is powerful. And if you abide by it, then our body will become a temple of God. May the Lord bless Papa. This is from John Amisa from Ejumako Asasan. Yes, uh, the lord bless you brother hmm. and this one says hey Adumo, my heart is up Adumaraka. my testimony is i was very sick couldn't even go to work and i came to church today and i i, I bought my soul bolo and uh, a d for doctor after drinking it i was eating the kinky i felt vomiting i also felt going after that uh, uh going to the washroom mm -hmm. after that i am healed and i could walk back home and that is from uh attack kofi the lord bless you he said uh he also had his healing today mm. in this auditorium he just took so below hey mm. Mm. it's not easy so mm. i do more i listened to today's sermon it was very powerful i have learned my lesson from it papa's teaching is incomparable george from ahafu kenya i say but i judge the lord richly Bless you. It says, uh, this also goes, Adumo, I was really touched and blessed by the word of God. Today, from the prophet of God, Stephen Adun Chedia, Papa God richly bless you and strengthened you. And this from Rhoda, inside of Boise, Sister Rhoda. Okay, so the, the phone numbers are 0201 169511. 0201-169-511. And 0266-494. 385 Okay, so uh, Mrs. Dorothy. Now let's look at so what should be our lifestyle or attitude as Stephen Adun Chida, the prophet of God said. If indeed our body is the temple of God, then what should be our nature? If we are the light of the world, what should we depict for others to emulate? Hmm. Thank you, Mr. Mwako. The two goes together. You are the light of the world. You are the salt of the world. That aside, your body is the temple of the living God or the Holy Spirit. So it means much is expected of you than what we are seeing. The way you dress up, the way you speak, the way you conduct yourself out there in your businesses. Are you cheating people? Or you sell, we said the zeal of the Lord, mm -hmm. the bless of the Lord. Uh, the, the, the work or the struggle or whatever we are going through does not bring anything to us. Yes. But it's the zeal the, of the, the Lord. The blessing of the Lord yes. that make, it make man us rich. rich. And the others so, no so. All we are looking for cannot come through until God intervened for us. We, so we don't have to take the lead. Be ahead of God. Yes. Me, I want it fast. So if I'm to sell a bottle of water for maybe one CD, I have to sell it about three cities because I need money. And I realize that people are in need at that material moment. Let me make quick, uh, uh, how do you call it, returns. Okay. No, if you do that, then you have thrown the light away. People will be sitting somewhere and say, hey, but this woman, he attends Philadelphia Church, oh, he's a believer, oh, mm -hmm. he's a Christian. Mm -hmm. But this one, we sell it at one city, but because you realize that there's a few of it, she's not selling it at three cities or four cities because people are buying. Okay. Are you are you testifying uh, for Christ? Okay. Or you are rather making his work difficult. He said our body is the temple of the living God. Okay. So good things should come out. Mm -hmm. okay. Good things should come out to glorify God. Okay. Okay. When we are in the workplace and we are adding zeros, are we depicting Christ? Okay. If when it's twenty, we make it twenty thousand. Mm -hmm. We are not doing the Christ like something. We are doing our own way of getting rich. Okay. And it's very bad. Okay. We don't have to struggle. Pa pa Papa said, Adun, well, who was I? 
Okay. Let, let's go but to the, I was the, the, the from a certain and then point and you now continue, I'm shining. You continue for me. We have our first caller on the line. So please permit me. Eh? Right after this, you call. Okay. So we have Brother Shadrach calling from Kowun Prior. So standing by. Brother Shadrach. Adumo. Adumo Rako, Philadelphia. <laughs> Adesha Kron Kron. Today you are our first caller. Greetings, yeah. Greetings to you all. You people are doing great job. Oh, and God bless our Papa Stephen Adun Kedia. Amen. Let me go Amen. straight. Okay. And greetings to every Philadelphia at Mkoko and each branch. Okay. Um, greetings to especially our Papa Brother John. Mm -hmm. um, let me go straight to our point. Yes. We should not, one, respect and treat everywhere that comes from Stephen Adun Kedia very carefully. Because if we joke with his words, we mm -hmm. joke with our own lives. Yes. Now, the fact is that he is nurturing us to depart from our evil ways or wrongdoing. Wow. Two, because we have been poisoned for years. Now, whatever <laughs> age you are, remember that deducted from what you used to do and now you are taking that off from you mm -hmm. from now. See oh. how challenging it will be to you. Yes. It will be very difficult, but let's try our best to depart from that okay habit. then by living a holy and righteous life me i foresee that it will even get to a point that mm -hmm. the proceeds we are putting our eyes on that so when Adum Shedia is saying he's going to share for the church me i foresee that a time will come where we, nobody will be picking his nose for it yes because when we are living mm -hmm. righteous life yes Whatever you ask from God, you have it yourself. You so have it. Be your worry to go and chase for what you've donated. Yes, hallelujah. Now we've known the truth. Uh -huh. And the truth will surely set, set it us has free. set us free. Now our laws are being presenting our bodies only before our God. And we are the apostles or we are going to be the disciples of Stephen Adum Sedia. God bless you. God bless you for calling. Uh, we have Brother Andrews also on the line. Adumo. Please, your name and where you are calling from? Oh, my name is Brother Ellis, calling from Tema. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, please, oh, what do you today, also have to share with us today? Oh, wow. Today, my Tema was so marvelous. And you know something? Mm -hmm. Papa have the Spirit of God in him. And then I want to tell you that uh, yes. any time when any time when he preaches, yes, and then you you, you sit down quietly and listen to his sermon, mm -hmm. you see that God speaks through you. Wow! You know today as he was speaking about um, um about the way he, he said we the Christians, the way we are the the backbone. Yes, and then God has made us first. Mm -hmm. So the moment he was speaking, Lord, I heard the Spirit of God tells me that. He said the message that Papa is speaking one trying to tell us that yes. they, they say the, la, the, the, the last shall be first. Uh huh. The first and shall be last and the last shall be first. Yes. 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 So I heard it as a moon. Anytime this man speaks the word of God, I see God in him. Wow. And I see that whatever he says, and when you listen to him attentively, you see that God will speak to you. He will speak to so you. The Philadelphians, we the Philadelphians, say, yes. if we know the kind of person we are, mm -hmm. we will not joke with ourselves. Amen. Because see, something happened to my daughter. Yes. My daughter doesn't want to go to school. Uh huh. And then one day, my wife said, No, the way this girl is behaving, we don't understand. You don't want to eat. When you go to school, you don't eat throughout the day. And then this girl will be coming. So my wife was worried. And he said one day, just sit down and then go down on his knees and pray. Yes. That day, she have a papa. Uh -huh. Please help my daughter yes. to eat and go to school. The following day, you know, the, the child changes life. It will now it loves school so much. <laughs> Hallelujah. Seriously. <laughs> so that is why I keep on telling you the Philadelphians that uh, mm -hmm. don't watch papa. Yes. Like he said, don't watch him. Uh -huh. eh? He know it's in you. He's trying to build our own for us. So when you follow him with that passion, you will have your own. That Amen. is like this. So we Amen. bless God for his life and I love him so much. The Lord I love bless Papa you. so much. The Lord bless God you. Bless him. The Lord bless you. Okay. Hello. Adumo. 
Uh, sister Philadelphia. Uh, so sister Nanaba or oh, how do you go it? Nanaba. Uh huh. Nanaba. Okay. Yes, Nanaba. yes, Nanaba. Okay. Uh, I know today you were also blessed. Yes. It's a fancy name, Nanaba. Nanaba. Okay. Okay. I know today you were also blessed. I want to. I want to give a short testimony. Yes, you are listening. <laughs> Okay, my mother, mm -hmm. let me speak she, so that you can all oh, hear me. Okay, that. okay, please, you are listening. My mother is dead, but Papa is a great man of God. Mm -hmm. Papa is saying the truth, nothing but the truth. Okay. I started using the prayer materials from 15th November mm -hmm. for my mother. I didn't know my mother was already gone. So, from January, mm -hmm. I came for the miracle materials for yeah. my mother. Yes. Then she started saying, Where I am is not my house. That's what your mother was, was saying. Yes. Baby, I'm not going to to Position yourself and come with and be as pleasant with what you mean by my mom wanted to go and those things. Let's make it uh, plain so that everyone watching can also get to understand what you mean by that. Okay, so uh, please let me come back to you mm -hmm. where you left off. Okay, I think we have another caller. Sorry, <laughs> Mr. Uh, is Mr. Mr. Nyako calling from Bodia. I say, Adumo. Adumalako. Philadelphia. Okay. Uh, so, Mr. Nyako. Okay. Okay. The opportunity okay. exists for you. Um, but um, uh, Amen. Uh, Amen. We thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, five years. We say Okay. Uh-huh. 
Amen. 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 It is surely on its way. It is surely on its way. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you, Mr. Nyako, for calling. Okay. Okay, so, uh, mommy, please uh, continue yeah. for us. And then so, we're going if to your take our body last is the temple of mm -hmm. the living God, you must show Christ like characteristics. You should humble yourself. We know normally when we start, God starts blessing us a little, then we raise our standard to the extent that we become a bossy over everything. We are so proud. And look at Stephen Adum Chedria, the one we are following, the one who is teaching us so humble to the ground so we should learn to be humble okay that portrays christ-like nature christ was uh, giving birth in a manger mm -hmm. showing his humility so we should also be humble no matter the standard no matter the wealth we should be humble okay. in christ and then we should treat people very well with respect we don't have to shout at people talk to people anyhow okay the way we behave the way we talk the way the way and manner we our demeanor mm -hmm. if it doesn't portray christ we can't draw people to christ okay so we should live that christ like uh what exemplary life okay and then our body being the temple to if the body is the temple first we didn't know mm -hmm. we all had now that you have seen the light you have seen the truth mm -hmm. don't go back okay don't go back to be told that your mother is bewitching you, your father is behind this, mm -hmm. and your auntie is that. To create enmity again. Okay. To create confusion again. Okay. When you think you are, your mother is a witch, Papa rightly said, then you are also a witch because you are coming from the witch. <laughs> if you are a husband, you say your wife is a witch, then you are also a witch because the two shall be one. Yes. If I say my husband is a witch, I'm also a witch because mm -hmm. the two are one. Yes. You see? Yes. So yes. We, 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 if our uh, temple should present that, Holiness life okay. for Christ's name, and so that Christ wouldn't suffer for nothing. Because he said loss. he bought that with a price. Yes. And that price is the blood of Jesus. Yes. How precious is it? Yes. So let's value it. Okay. Okay. So let's value the salvation that Jesus Christ has given to us. Okay. Now let's go and take the Philadelphia crown. Yes. Uh, it's, let's show the crown that Stephen Adun Chiria, the prophet of God, has been talking about. Because we know in Revelation chapter 3, verse 11, that hold fast to your faith, that no man takes, takes away, your, away crown. your crown. And today, he, he made us to know how the crown looks like. The royalty, the reason why we are able to hit our chest and say that we are royals. Yes. So, producer, if you can uh, put the, the crown on the screen for us. So, this one says, Adumo, wow, wow, wow. and brother... From Paul, from Adansi Formina. I'm a Philadelphia royal, yeah. and this is also my crown. Nobody can take it from me. So the person has screenshot the crown, and then he said, to The Lord bless you. Okay. So that is, that is uh, the crown on the screen. The Philadelphian crown on the screen. Wow, wow, wow. So beautiful and majestic, yeah. and uh, uh, it glitters, and then indeed it connotes that we are royals. We are royals, resting ah, on our heads. <laughs> hey, hey, royalty, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. This royalty comes with authority, yes. it comes with power. That is why now Philadelphians are able to speak a word or speak forth, and then we see it manifesting in the physical. Okay, wow. So beautiful. Very beautiful. I think when the finished work is out, yeah. you all marvel. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be perplexed and then uh, so surprised. You can't even know uh, that you had this royalty in you all this while. And you went for people to tread <laughs> upon you, to walk upon you. Hmm. Okay. Adumo, 
In fact, I'm really touched by the word from the prophet of God. Stephen Adum Chendria. May God richly bless him and the family. By Cecilia Atanga from Upper West Ridge. Okay, so, so husband and wife. Okay. <laughs> They're all watching. We thank God. We thank God for that. Philadelphia, may God bless us all. In fact, I'm so happy this is because I've now seen the truth. Even though I was in the seminary, all these teachings, I heard them, but I didn't understand them. Today, through our papa, I've gotten the understanding. I am so free and happy. And it's from Brother Alex inside Mankasim. Wow, a seminarian. Oh, oh, glory be to God. And he is not the only one. All of us. Mm. Adumo, I really enjoyed today's sermon. Especially waiting for my testimony from Paul Emmanuel inside Techiman. Okay, so this also Philadelphia family inside Germany. We mostly worship with Papa Adum. Okay, so please bring the images for us to see your meeting in Germany. So Germany, they are already congregating. Bring your images or videos for us to see hey and this is from sister ivy the lady who was on grace hour now she is bringing the update of their mobile money accounts it says adumo update on the momo account auntie agnes nyako is having eighteen thousand six cities <laughs> hallelujah eighteen thousand six cities and sister ivy dansua eleven thousand 35.21 say below is a deep freezer bought for aunt agnes for her business wow so now uh, 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 she's getting a deep freezer please let the images come sister ivy please uh and then buying a treasure bill of ten thousand for her uh, please please send send them you, you want to show the the image of the deep freezer please sister ivy i'm waiting for eight before i leave <laughs> so Holy Ghost was working at Takwa Philadelphia Royals. Mm -hmm. It wasn't easy. Oh, we bless God. Philadelphia with your penny him Abigail Ajua Anama. Okay. So let's let's take our last uh, comments as we add up, as we admonish people about our new attitude or lifestyle in Christ. As gentiles, as we come to see Christ. Let's sum it up and then make it our last uh, submission. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um what I would like to say is that. The Holy Ghost, the main mission of the Holy Ghost is to come and confirm the reality about the truth, mm -hmm. which is Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And then Papa has already taught us the way to acquire or attain the Holy Ghost for us to contain the Holy Ghost in us. Okay. Stephen Adum Jedi, the prophet of God, is now housing the Holy Ghost. Okay. So we are seeing the reality of Jesus Christ. Okay. On his side. On his side. And then now he's also praying that we, mm -hmm. also the Philadelphians, would also try as much as possible yes. to also live this holy life. Holy life. That is, try to make sure that we prepare our Holy Spirit in us mm -hmm. and then attain the Holy Ghost. Okay. Because he said that when we make any command or any utterances, that is when Christ will also act wow. upon Wow. So we need us, our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Then, being the temple of the Holy Ghost, what we ought to do is to live a good life. Okay. Holy and then presentable unto God. We thank God. Okay. Uh, Mama, this is Dorothy Nyama. Yeah, what I will say is, yes. uh, Jesus came for we the sinners. Mm -hmm. Jesus came for we the sinners. And we shouldn't let him work in vain okay. because in the first place he has to plead on our behalf mm -hmm. we should make him proud mm -hmm. by changing our life wow let everybody realize that there's light in us so let people see the light in us, in us. let people see that we are a changed person we are changed persons. let's portray christ life so that christ will be happy and papa you see sometimes when he's teaching at the point he gets so heated mm -hmm. not for nothing mm -hmm. but he feels like he has to lead you for Christ. Yes. He shouldn't leave you behind. Yes. So when he realized that so people are holding on to the old character, he becomes uncomfortable. Yes. Let's okay. make the uh, Christ who bought us with his blood mm -hmm. proud and also help 
Seven Adum Chedua to accomplish his mission mm -hmm. so that he will be fulfilled, he will be happy wherever he finds himself that, oh, I didn't suffer for vain. Wow. My people have actually given themselves truly to Christ and we are all going to meet one day. Yes. Let's make Christ and for that matter, God in heaven, so proud of us wherever we are. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, Mr. Daniel Kofi, your last Okay. Uh, I'll summarize the whole uh -huh. thing by looking at uh, Matthew 5, 13 to 16. Mm -hmm. uh, that's uh, we being the salt of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, it's trying to confirm in us that no matter our situation, though people may look down upon us, we should still hold on to our faith. Yes. And when we are able to do that, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ will accomplish his business with us. That okay. is, who bring us uh, miracles. When that happens, we should also not hide it. So we're not supposed to hide it under a bushel. Okay. And even when we have received the miracles, mm -hmm. they may be one day, mm -hmm. two days, or maybe monthly. We should still continue to let our light shine mm -hmm. so that wherever we live, communities that we live in yeah. societies yeah. or even our workplaces yeah. people will still confirm the fact that yes jesus christ has really come to visit us yes. and we exhibit character that will not draw away people quarreling gossiping about others mm -hmm. and also oh, trying to cheat other people here and there mm -hmm. now when we come back to the last point i will link it to the crown mm -hmm. and revelation 3.11 warns us that we should take note or we should beware so that our crowns are not taken away from us. Amen. In fact, the Antichrist mm -hmm. is hovering all around. Mm -hmm. It is coming up with very nice or beautiful things to entice us, to draw us away. Yes. Bringing us things that will look like making life comfortable for us. Mm -hmm. It will cause us to engage in 419 uh prostitution yes i'm um, robbery and so many things but at the end of the day we will lose the salt that christ cherished so much we'll so if we want the philadelphia movement to continue to exist then we have to hold fast to the salt in us and i know the 500 years that stephen anun children the prophet of god have forecasted i'm sure it might even live longer Done. for several generations yes, yes, to also benefit. Yes. We thank God for the life of Stephen Adum Chidia, the prophet of God, for giving us such a wonderful meal. The Lord bless you. Oh, okay, now let me read a few messages. It says, Adumo, in fact, I'm blessed today. After today's sermon, I had my testimony. My mom has now accepted my marriage proposal. I'm so happy. And that's coming from Mavis Chum, inside Chifu, hey man. The Lord bless you. She's very happy. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, is that it? Adumo, in fact, there is power in today's sermon by Papa Adum. God richly bless him. I feel a load has been taken off my head from anti comfort at the Puma Sanchem. Adumo, I'm thrilled today for such a wonderful message by Papa. May God richly bless me. I had a testimony just this uh, afternoon. There was a light out before Papa was coming to teach. I told the Holy Angel to put on the light for me. And the light came not less than two minutes. <laughs> wow. God has really done well for our sister to be a partaker of this blessing. Okay. Uh, let me see these messages. This is also coming. It's a testimony. The cast, please send the message under your name. Just the image and the video will not help me. Add what you want to add to these things for us. He said, God bless Papa Stephen Adun Chedu. And this is coming from Fuseni from Asim Fusu. So we have interdenominational religion. Everyone listen to Stephen Adun Chedu, the prophet of God. Philadelphia, today's message has indeed made me know how to shape my life, where to please God. Papa, God bless you much. This is from Sister Yvonne from Takra Day. Okay. Okay. So, so let's, let's end it here. Let's end it, I'll end it here because the messages uh, we cannot read all. Okay, so we'll end the messages here. We thank God Almighty for 
be with us and then we also thank all viewers for spending time with us today we've come to know that as gentiles as we are as, as we are there's no other form of salvation for us except through jesus christ and for that matter for us we have to worship on the day of resurrection that Jesus Christ resurrected and established for we Gentiles. We cannot cultivate any other foreign tradition in our lives because we are not deemed fit. So as a Gentile as we are, Christianity is the only sure way for us to make it to God and to come out of our predicaments. We were also made to know that as Gentiles and as Christians, whatever happens, we have to keep our faith. We have to keep our value as sorts. We have to make sure that it doesn't matter the worth. That is how much we cost or people don't play us. There is something so unique and special in us. That is why Stephen Adun Chere, the prophet of God, always says, You are special. You are unique and fearfully made by God. Do not let your guts down. If you do, people will tread upon you and you will be an outcast. There are so many things they will talk about you in your predicament. But if you keep your faith, then Jesus Christ will write on you and give you a testimony for others to come and know that indeed we serve a living God. And the last thing we will talk is, after you have come to embrace and accept Jesus Christ, keep the faith so that you do not lose your crown. Walk in the Lord. Depict the godly lifestyle. Make sure that wherever you are, you don't need to be in church before you depict that godly lifestyle. In your vicinity, be the Bible someone gets to read. In your locality, be the light someone gets to distinguish darkness from the light. The Lord bless you. Now, if you are in Accra and this environs, please, we are located at Pokuyasi Katapo Estate. Make time with us in Accra. And every Friday, Stephen Adun Chedi, the prophet of God, who also come to Accra or goes to Accra to minister unto them the undiluted word of God and miracles also abound. So many and this environs we have right behind G and J restaurant, do hecho. Yes, you have Brother Freeman and then Brother George over there. Go and meet them, and the Lord shall richly bless you. In in Koko at Insuta everyday junction. Go and meet Brother John. Get your prayer materials. Trust in the Lord. And they also have a day of meeting. Thursdays, they do meet and fellowship together. And the Lord will give you a testimony. Wherever you are, distance is not a barrier. And in uh, Obuase, it is at New BDM, near Pano Security Services. You'll find Believers Worship Center right there. Go and meet Brother Kofi Safu. Get your prayer materials. Exercise faith and the Lord will bless you. If you are in Kumase, then come to the home or the, the, the headquarters of Believers Worship Center. In Kenya, see a Jumem teacher Kwanta. The doors are open. You can come to the Holies of Holies. Pray on your own. Get your prayer materials. Exercise faith as people are giving testimonies and your testimony shall surely come. In Techuman, Please, the A Fellowship at Bono Chapim on Sundays. But if you need your prayer materials, go to Kwadi Group, meet Brother Michael or Brother Enfrema, get your prayer materials. He shall sort you out and the Lord will richly bless you. In Sunyone, we have uh, our center, that's uh, Second Chance Prayer Center, also at Oxford Senior High School, at Basim, at Alaska Junction. Get there, get the prayer materials. You have Brother Ofori, he will also meet you and then make sure that your heart is calm and you have peace within you have faith in yourself and you do not lose hope for the lord shall give you a testimony god richard bless you for being with us we want to say thank you to stephen adun chedua the prophet of god for giving us this platform to mama millicent we say the lord bless you it is on your platform that we all write so we say the lord multiply your efforts may he bless you so that the blessed shall also call you blessed. Now, we also want to say thank you to the TV crew, the cameraman, sound, graphics, and everyone, lightning. We want to say, God, Richard, bless you for everything, your guidance and your directions. And then to our producer, Naftali, and then the IT department, uh, the department, we want to say, God bless you, uh, Mr. Uh, Afabeji. Yes, usually that's what. Uh, is it, that's his main name. I wanted to give him his main name. I said, God bless you for the graphics, brother, Maswell. Everyone, thank you. And you, the viewer, you are special for staying with us. 
We will come to you same time next week. But we're going to take a word of prayer and say bye bye for today. So, Brother Michael, let's say bye bye with a word of prayer. Let's pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, that worthy to receive glory, honor, and power. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Father, we bless your holy name. We thank you for such a wonderful message that, Lord, you have delivered through your servant, Stephen Adum Chedia, unto all of us. Yes. It's our prayer that, oh Lord, because of your unfailing love mm -hmm. and your mercies, Lord, please, just as you visited the home of Zacchaeus, yes. we pray thee, oh Lord, May you continue to visit the homes of all Gentiles mm -hmm. as you always manifest yourself through your servant, Stephen Adam Chidia, through your word. Father, we pray that may you change all hearts yes, of Lord. all Gentiles unto mm -hmm. yourself, that, Lord, your mission and your vision shall be accomplished. In yes. the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Beloved, the Lord bless you for spending time with us. We come to you same time next week. But well, until then, shalom and come with your testimonies in abundance. Bye bye.